Becoming a good ball handler is a complex process, but a lot of it comes down to becoming a good mover with the ball. Not necessarily just the control of the ball, but how you actually move with it. So this is a quick 15 minute ball handling workout I did with my guys in Iceland this past weekend. And it definitely challenged them, as it probably will you. But it's without a doubt an amazing way to develop more fluidity, shiftiness, and overall movement ability. Let's get to it. Starting going one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I'm taking two big steps back. One, two, that's gonna protect me in these two. And I'm trying to get through that as fluidly as I can. So this one right here is mainly working on foot positioning, finding those perfect spots for our foot to project us forward and then decelerate us. It's also just a general coordination drill to get us fired up. And honestly, it's pretty tough in terms of the control side of things too, because we gotta line up that dribble perfectly with our feet. I can do anything I want with it. So the first one is timing up the ball with the foot. The second dribble, you're switching up that timing. So it's going foot and then ball. So I'm going one, two, one, two, one, two. Does that make sense? So it's timed up, not timed up. Timed up, not timed up. I'm a big fan of training rhythm and timing, and this is easily one of my favorites. Not only are we working on being able to precisely put the ball down or dribble it at the right time, but being able to do it in rhythm and then out of rhythm. We need both. Of course we need the rhythm, but we also got to be able to switch it up a bit. So I'm having them do one dribble where the ball and the foot hit at the same time, and then one where they don't. Alternate through that and I promise you it's going to throw your coordination off a bit. Next one here, now we're switching hands with it every single dribble. So they're switching up the move, cross, between, behind. This one's gonna be a little bit tougher and I want them to really get creative here. Obviously, this is a little bit more representative of how we're looking at a game. Not necessarily they're gonna be pivoting back and forth like this in a game, but just rotating and switching hands and finding good timing with that ball and foot. So again, this is just that extra progression to the first one. Now we're still implementing this timing idea on this next one, but more so working on being bouncy out of that negative step. So we're trying to line up the ball on the foot and then quickly and fluidly try to bounce out of that backward step. So again, this is just working on that effortless negative step. Now that they have the idea for it, we're adding in a dribble and this is definitely a coordination challenge. So they're stepping back with a front between, taking a pound and then going with a reverse between on the way back. Even for really fluid athletes, this one can be a little bit tough. And again, it's just challenging your brain to add new tools to the toolbox and working on being an effortless fluid mover. Same thing here with this misdirection freestyle so they can go any moves they want, but the ball is going opposite of where their body is going. So obviously if they dribble to the left, their body's going right with that. Some players already have this in their toolbox, so to speak, and some don't. Even if you do, your effort here should be going towards making this very fluid. I want you guys to get really comfortable with this because this allows you to do more with your feet as you are still keeping that dribble alive, essentially. All right, so I'm just float, float, float. Keep that dribble alive in that hand. All right, let's just go 20 seconds here, getting comfortable with that kind of light touch with the ball. Let's go. Now this one's a little bit of active rest, but it's also a very important quality for all of these. You can also add in a shift like this if you want to. Now I'm thinking about as that ball is going down, that's when I'm going out. So I'm one, two, three, then I push that. Now we're working on timing of that explosion, trying to go when the ball is on the way down from our hand. So instead of going as soon as it gets to our hand, we're going at the last second that we can control it. We can add some freedom into this, go with different moves and foot positioning. But even just the concept or the idea of this can be very tricky at first. But if you get this down, it can definitely take your ball handling and really any move you do to a new level. So we're just going with a little explosion here, stepping back a few steps and then repeating through that. You don't have to throw it moves there, but I'm alternating on the way up and on the way down. All right, let's try it out. Now we're alternating here going when the ball is on the way down and when the ball is on the way up. So again, just working on being able to throw off the timing and the rhythm of our dribble. I really, really like this idea. And if you find it extra challenging, feel free to stick on this for longer. So on this one, I'm just kind of showing them a pattern. So I'm stepping across, bringing that back between the legs, repositioning my feet, and then cycling through that. It's really tough here to be able to hang or float that ball in your hand to reset your feet on the other side. So it may be a carry at first if we're being real, but once you start to figure out the timing and the rhythm of it and pick up this footwork pattern, it definitely becomes a lot easier. So give yourself a little bit of time to even carry it at first as you start to pick up that movement pattern. One, 
two, chill, one, two, I chill, one, two. So I literally come to like a, a half second where I'm just like looking around, hanging out, boom, right back into it. If it's a carry at first, I'm fine with it. Then start to get that timing down and that feel for floating the ball where it's not. So again, I'm one, two, one, two, one, two. This one's definitely one of my favorites for working on changing speeds, changing levels, and learning how to relax with the ball a bit. So they're really pushing out with this first dribble, snatching it back between the legs, and then trying to float that ball as relaxed and as long as possible. Again, this should literally look like you're turning off all speed. Try new challenges, like coordination challenges, where you guys can now add new tools to the toolbox. It's not always about moves, right? It's not always about adding a certain move to your game or whatever it may be. It can be, but it's also about learning how to move. If you learn how to move, you get coordinated, your timing is great, you're just comfortable with the ball in your hands and moving within your ball, or moving with it in your hands, every move that you do gets easier. And you can start picking up new techniques and moves that much easier. Then as always, if you have somebody else to work with, we're gonna go live here. So we're going with that same pattern we just worked on. And now we're trying to explode out of a different timing or footwork every single time. Defense is stationary, offense is moving back and forth trying to find an angle, and then trying to explode past as creatively as possible. It's definitely a bit tough sometimes, but it exposes you to new positions, gets you comfortable exploding from these. And ultimately, you can find yourself getting really creative with this. So as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Appreciate you guys as always. If you're interested in coming to any of our global camps like this, make sure to check that link in the description.